It's time once again for CNET Central to bring you up to date on stories making headlines in the digital world. Microsoft's Internet Explorer browser has been plagued with security holes, at least three. Now there's an all-purpose patch for the problem. It's at Microsoft's website. Without the fix, the Explorer bugs leave your computer open to any website operator who wants to run programs on the sly, send email, or damage software on your hard drive. The flaw affects Explorer versions 3.0 and 01 for Windows 95 and Windows NT4. Last week, we told you about Microsoft Network canceling nearly half of its TV-type programming. Now, America Online's announced it's giving online shows a go. AOL plans to launch 15 shows this year as part of a new entertainment division it's putting together. It'll be run by NBC's former entertainment chief, Brandon Tartikoff. In other AOL news, the provider threw some investors for a loop last week when it misreported over-the-counter stock quotes. A glitch in AOL's stock ticker threw share figures off by a few decimal points, reportedly driving driving some misinformed members to sell off stock. And despite its recent traffic problems, AOL has a big new marketing campaign in the works for this spring. The service is looking to take on two million new members. There's another strike underway in the battle of the internet providers. Last month, BiggerNet announced it's offering lifetime net access for a one-time only fee. Now J3 Communications is offering free unlimited net access to netizens who'll use the company's long distance service. Its rates are competitive with the larger long distance carriers. Rock music is rolling onto the net big time with a new comprehensive concert website called Jam TV. Here you can catch Dave Matthews and more than a thousand other rockers in webcast concerts in the coming year. Log on for backstage interviews, performance reviews, concert tickets, and music merchandise. A new breed of interactive gaming centers is taking off this weekend in Seattle. They're from famed director Steven Spielberg. GameWorks is making its debut with 30,000 square feet of the most advanced interactive gaming technology to date. It's a theme park scale nightclub with virtual reality sports and multiplayer and online games. There are a hundred GameWorks planned to open worldwide over the next five years. The next one is slated for Las Vegas. To find out more about these stories and get all the latest news from the digital world, the place to go is CNETsNews.com. Thanks, Richard. It is now time for a bit of viewer mail. Now, we know things can get pretty confusing in this rapidly changing digital world, but help is on the way. As a matter of fact, she's right <laughs> next to me. Here with us now is Sophie Formica with the Fact File. Thanks, Gina. Well, security on the net is an ever-growing concern for both companies and individuals, and that's what this week's question is all about. JLS Bandy writes, what is a firewall? I signed up for a service and was asked if I had a firewall. I couldn't answer the question. While firewalls are all about protecting information, most usually within a large company concerned about its confidential data, companies with an internal network will often also link it to the outside world. A firewall is set up between the two to prevent outsiders from getting in or employees from sending data out. Firewalls also help in preventing viruses by limiting software, video files and other information from coming into the network. And sometimes they're also used to govern bandwidth, preventing large files from being moved in or out, slowing down the network. Now in cruising around the net, you may be asked from time to time whether you are behind a firewall. And that's because all of this gatekeeping will seriously affect the size and type of data you can download. But for most people accessing the net from home, firewalls aren't something you're likely to have to deal with. Now, if you're confused about any of the terms or technologies we feature here on CNET Central, we want to help. So send your question to the fact file at CNET.com or through regular snail mail to the fact file at 150 Chestnut Street, San Francisco, California, 94111. And if you want to know more about firewalls or the internet security, you can head on over to CNET.com and you'll find those fact file addresses and each week's question and answer. Stay with us because just ahead, we get our hands on the latest in foot gear for your computer and put them to the CNET test. And we'll go inside the virtual worlds of the web with the next generation in 3D technology.